Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 15.4. In my opinion, one of the most important updates to come to iOS 15 so far. It is really, really important. Another really important thing is that you subscribe to this channel. Now, most of you guys that actually watch my videos are currently not subscribed. So hitting that subscribe button would really, really help out a lot. And we're talking about iOS 15.4's new features that Apple has added which are actually really, really amazing. And we're starting things off with an amazing feature coming to Safari. Now, if you just go to Safari being on iOS 15.4 beta, you can go right here under advanced and then experimental features. And what you will find here is the web built in web notifications right there. And you will also find another option to enable another feature. Let me see if I can find it right here. So here we have push API. What this means is that web web based apps notifications are coming to iOS. This is really, really amazing. Now the options are here by default, they will be disabled. And of course you can enable these, but actually the API itself is not yet enabled. So what that means, just like on Mac, if you have noticed when you go to different like websites, it will ask you to allow notifications. You wouldn't be able to do that on iOS, but it looks like Apple is bringing that feature to iOS and this will be really, really important. Now, as I said, currently the API itself is not enabled, but hopefully it will be with the next few betas and probably maybe we will get like the full release to the public once iOS 15.4 also gets released to the public. There are other really, really amazing features you will find on iOS 15.4, like the ability to 3D touch right here on the music app and play your most recent song. So all you gotta do, 3D touch, play most recent and there you go. It will start playing the most recent song that you have played in so far in actually Apple Music and that's really great as well. Now moving on to the App Store, we have another new feature here. So go to your avatar right there on the App Store and right here you will find a new section for notifications. Now what you will find here is two different options. One, to give you notifications from the App Store for new features and updates. These will probably be for app updates and maybe like big new features that come to new apps. And you will also have notifications for recommendations and other stuff. So you can enable these right now and they're working as of iOS 15.4 beta one. This also will be another great, great feature. So you get notified when apps are updated. You don't have to go to the App Store to look if you have an update for your apps or not. On my review video of iOS 15.4, I showed you guys the ability to actually share play directly from the share sheet within apps. And you have that feature right here on Spotify as well. I know most people will actually use Spotify. There are, I believe, more users on Spotify than Apple Music. So you're in a song right there playing a song, you tap the little share button and then tap on more. And once it shows you the share sheet, you will have right there share play. So you can share play this song with your contacts directly from Spotify. And with the release of iOS 15.4 beta one, we have another new great feature on the magnifier app as well. So if you use the magnifier app, now you will have the ability to actually switch between different cameras. So you can use auto or you can use the telephoto, the macro, or the selfie camera. Now you can enable the camera button right here by going to settings. You will have all the secondary controls right here. You might not have the camera, so you just go ahead and add them from there. And then you will have the chance by tapping on the camera logo to switch between different cameras. Another new feature, as you probably know with iOS 15.4, is the ability to actually choose whether you want to be notified or not when an automation is ran on your device. Now, I didn't get this notification myself, but I was able to find this on the subreddit of iOS beta, and this is really cool as well. So if you have notifications disabled for your automations, then you will get this from the Shortcuts app. So you can see right here, it will show you that two automations in this case has recently ran in the background. So you will basically still get a notification from the shortcuts, but not the exact moment when the automations will run. And then right here, we'll have the option to actually edit this in the shortcuts directly 
from the notification here or disable the automations directly from here if you want to and that of course simply by 3D touching on the notification. On my review of the iOS 15.4 beta 1 I showed you guys the new button that we got on the notes app to directly scan the text from the icon right there and now you will get that on the reminders app as well so you can just press here and basically tap on scan text right there you will be able to directly from here scan any text you want and that's another amazing feature that will make it much much easier for you to scan any text if you want to add it to one of your reminders another new feature here when you double press the side button right there to open the apple wallet you will get like a new ui right here you can see that face id little icon right there at the top this is like a new ui that apple has redesigned for ios 15.4 now overall iOS 15.4 has been really great so far I had this for a week now very very stable I didn't encounter any like major bugs or glitches or stuff like that and it's really great also battery life is quite good quite impressive for being a beta one so I've used this of course on daily basis on my daily device right here and the battery life has been quite stable now of course we're on beta one right here and we can expect another four or five betas from ios 15.4 so it has been like a week now since the release of beta one so we had beta one on thursday it was and then probably we will get beta 2 the next week so you can expect ios 15.4 beta 2 to be released at the beginning of the next week so that will most likely be on tuesday so you can expect it on february 8th and then of course if you're expecting the release of ios 15.4 to the public before you install it on your device then you will have to probably wait until somewhere around the end of the march that's the day that i believe apple must release ios 15.4 to the public probably they will have another event before that of course the spring event maybe the iphone se the new iphone se and then alongside that we should see also the release of ios 15.4 to the public so so far so good ios 15.4 packed with really important features like of course the universal control and now web apps notifications those will be really really huge for ios so a really really great great update from apple of course we had ios 15.3 which basically didn't have any new features at all but with 15.4 apple has brought some really amazing new features so if you're interested on this update and of course you want to see what's next because we will see quite a lot of new betas coming out for ios 15.4 probably starting next week we will see weekly updates for ios 15.4 and i believe there will be more new features coming to this update as it probably will be one of the bigger updates to ios 15 before apple goes to ios 16 beta which of course will be at the beginning of the june on at wwdc 2022 of course make sure you subscribe if you want to stay updated with the latest news and see what's new with ios 15.4 before you go ahead and update your device to this new update so that's basically it again thank you guys for watching leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next video